Hi, I'm Steve Perlman, I'm the president of MOVA, and I'm here to introduce a new technology called Contour Reality Capture. Now, MOVA's been in the business of doing motion capture, and I'm sure you've seen 3D video games which have characters that move very realistically, or motion pictures like Monster House or the Polar Express, we have very accurate motion of characters. Those movies and video games are all made using what's called marker-based motion capture, and these are some markers that we use. We put them actually on the outfits that the actors wear and then use a camera like this, which has a ring of LEDs around it that shines a light at the markers and makes them very, very bright when the camera sees them. And then it picks up those dots in space and then we connect them together to make a skeleton and from that we're able to animate a three-dimensional character. Now that works really, really good for skeletal motion. If you got an arm, or a body motion uh, and so on. What it doesn't work so well for is when you're trying to capture a deformable surface, something like your face where the skin is smooth or your neck. For that, you really end up doing a lot of it using hand animation and trying to make it look real and it never quite looks real. Contour Reality Capture is a revolutionary new way to do motion capture. It's able to capture deformable surfaces like skin to a high degree of subtlety down to a tenth of a millimeter in resolution capturing wrinkles, the motion of lips, tendons in your neck, subtle things we've never seen before. It even can capture the surface of cloth and show you how that moves. So let me show you how it works. A contour capture doesn't start with applying markers to a performer. Rather, it starts with applying makeup. In fact, it's a very garden variety type of makeup. This we picked up at a Halloween store. It's phosphorescent makeup, the kind that glows in the dark. And what we do is typically mix it with a little bit of base, as we've done here, that matches the color of the performer. And then we sponge it onto the skin, usually using an exfoliating sponge, to create a random pattern on the skin wherever it is we want to do the capture. In the case of cloth, what we typically do is take phosphorescent powder, mix it with a dye, and then spread it uh, randomly along the cloth. And that is all you need to do to prepare. After we apply the makeup to the performer, we place her within the view of many cameras. In this case, we have 44, all looking from different angles. Behind the cameras are specially designed fluorescent fixtures. These fixtures flash on and off 90 to 120 flashes a second. Now, above about 80 flashes per second, the human visual system can't see flashing. So to us, the set appears perfectly lit, like any other set would. But to the cameras, they see something very different. We have color cameras that only open their shutters during the brief interval of the flashing when the lights are on. Those capture a view of what the performer looks like under normal lighting. But then we have grayscale cameras which only open their shutters during the brief interval of the flashing when the lights are off. What do they see? Well, they see the glow that comes from that phosphorescent makeup that we put all over her face and the phosphorescent powder that we put within her clothing. And they use that random pattern to align each other to go and triangulate to find out what the 3D surface looks like. What is the end result? Well, if we were to use a marker-based capture system to try to capture a human face, we might get perhaps 100, 150 points on the face. With contour, we typically get over 100,000 points. It's a complete universe of difference, and it changes the whole world of motion capture production. I hope you enjoyed that introduction to Contour Reality Capture. If you want to find out more about Contour, check out www.mova.com, M-O-V-A.com. Thanks very much.